hello. Oh my gosh, it dark circles under my eyes. Okay, so I had said that I was going to do like a little bit of a before thing um, because one of the goals with my Donna Gets Crafty whole thing is to do videos to show like the progression of what's going on in our house now that the kids are gone. And so we are finally at that point where we're going to start doing stuff. And so um, I don't know where to look. I don't know where the camera is. So we're going to start doing stuff in the house. So I painted the living room and we just bought the shelves. So I'm just going to do like a little, like a little mini tour so that you can guys can see where we're going to be going from here. Man, if I don't get a haircut, Kim, I need a haircut. Okay, stop being vain. I'm going to turn this around. Okay, so here is our living room. Our house is really tiny, all right? It's like maybe 1,200 square feet. I don't even know if it's that much. Maybe I'm guessing. But the basement um, is partially finished, so that works out well. Okay, so this is my front door that I don't know what... Hey, there's the first question. What color should I paint the front door? It's awfully dark in here, right? <laughs> light. Overhead light on and make this one brighter. Okay. So that's the front door. The wall is gray here, you can see. All right, I don't know what color to cut, paint the front door. All right, anyways, so you walk into the house, and that's the living room, okay? It's a very cozy living room, you see, and I love the way the color came out. I absolutely love the color. It's navy blue. I'm hoping that it shows up nicely on the camera. This is just my phone camera. So it's navy blue and gray, All right? You can see kind of there. <laughs> All right, and so these are the shelves that we chose, this nice gray shelf, and I spray painted these black because I think that's gonna look nicest on the wall. So these are black because they didn't have black ones there that were the right size, and then I spray painted the brackets because as much as I wanted to have floating shelves, I just think that these bracket shelves are gonna be more efficient and give me more versatility with it. So I'm wondering, I'm hoping that, that, that my idea is okay. All right, so these are the shelves that we got and we got a couple of different sizes. So this is my cozy corner because I'm addicted to these jars with candles. I have them everywhere. There's my little Chocolate Tour Home signs, one of my favorites. This is my money jar. That's, that's how we pay for the things in the house, okay? We get a couple of bucks, my husband gets a tip, I get singles and change, and we throw it in there. We pulled a lot of it out today because uh, we were going to Walmart to buy the shelves and stuff. There's the Archie Bunker chair, that's where I call it. We've had this, this chair since my husband um, was very sick and was in the hospital, and he had to recover from a major surgery, so we, my grandmother bought him this chair. This chair is from Hunger. Okay, we've had it forever, the cat has eaten it, all these little things that I can't wait to do. I've never decorated a house and it's just gonna be so much fun. I have that wall is gonna be a wall of pictures and things that I make. I also have a space up here that I'm gonna put like a family or a scripture up there. I have that wall and that wall and all along up here. How cool is that? This is our TV stand. Yes, we like TV, it's a giant TV. Um, that I'm also gonna paint. So my question is, like, what color should I paint that? If there, and there's my really fun, eclectic, loud rug, because that's me. My husband is all about the gray and the blue, and I'm all about that. So trying to find a boho, classic kind of combo that'll make us both happy. I'm not very skilled at home decor, so much so, you can't see it now, but yesterday when I put these things back up to hold my curtains, um, I put them on backwards. And it's so sad that I didn't even notice that I put it on backwards until after both of them were screwed into the wall. Here is our hallway, which is a very small hallway, but my husband is gonna turn this into a tiny little library. So the walls here are going to be, over here is gonna be for CDs and stuff and then over there is going to be the wall for our uh, for our books the cds and dvds and our books and a big shelf across the top and i get to get decorate this wall and that wall and that wall i found the dollar store floating shelves that a lot of people couldn't find and i found five of them and i'm going to paint them up and put them there and that's going to be a diy video it's going to be fun i need to choose a light for there because that light is awful so this is my gift from my husband. 
this is my office, which is a hot mess right now. So my husband has given me this entire room. I was over on this side and he was on the other side, but look what he did for me. He took all of his stuff out. And so now I get a whole entire room for crafting and recording. And that is just gonna be crazy fun. There's my Harry Potter fun stuff. I love me some Harry Potter and all my, my Bible, my Bible studies, my Mitford books. Those are the only two series of books that I absolutely love that I own all of them because I love them. Mitford is a happy place to go. If you haven't read the Mitford books by Jan Karen, I highly recommend them. And the bedroom's kind of a mess too. Um, we started with, okay, so the bedroom is really small, but it's enough. That's a queen size bed with this, um, with this layback. I, I think that I'm going to paint it, but I'm not sure. The walls in here are gray, but they're a blue gray, so I don't like it. I'm going to paint that in here. That was the ugliest dresser on the planet. That was the ugliest dresser on the planet. Really the ugliest dresser ever made in the history of dressers, so I had to paint it. Had That's the wall paint that's in the living room. That very ugly thing, that is the first thing that I ever painted. It's <laughs> it's so ugly, like whatever. Uh, we're gonna put two low dressers there instead of these monstrosities. But you know, when you're raising kids, you don't think about buying furniture. You think about buying groceries, okay? That's where my husband so kindly moved. That's his little space up here. That's his little office. We're gonna put stuff on the wall for him. Um, the air conditioner is gonna be going up into the window up there, up into the wall. And I got a beautiful chandelier instead of this thing from 1984. The bathroom is gonna be redone too. Um, well, you know what? If I'm gonna do a preview, then I'm gonna turn you guys around and I'm gonna show you the bathroom. So, did I clean the bathroom today? I don't remember. Yes, I did, I cleaned it away. So this is our little bathroom. And this actually was done, this was done a couple of years ago because the guy that, that we bought the house from just didn't know what he was doing and it was so awful, it was barely even usable. So we kind of had like a theme of like um, vintagey beachy in here, but still I just never have made the time to decorate my house. Now one thing I do love is my shelf of vintage my shelf of vintage um medicines bottles and and first aid things and all of these are like old and vintage and i pick them up in a variety of places so these are going to stay but that's but the shelf here is going that was the second thing that i painted my second little project for my house this is the gist of my home decorating there's that and i made this towel rack I want to have that put up there. Thank you, Kimmy. That's from my friend Kim. Um, I made this towel rack out of a piece of driftwood from Chincoteague when we went down to Virginia. So that I like. And this served its purpose, but this is this is all going. The curtains are going. Everything is going. I love my sign. What do you think? Would you have a song like that in your house? I'm, I'm glad to be on this journey and I'm glad to be able to share it with people because I'm all about people. This isolation thing's making me crazy. So I hope that you um, want to join the journey. It's nothing spectacular. I'm not saying it's gonna be spectacular, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be fun. Anyway, I'm out of here and I will see you guys soon.